Okay, now that you've done some squares and rectangles in one point perspective, let's move on to organic shapes and some letters with some um, rounded corners. <clears throat> so organic shapes are shapes that don't have your geometric hard sides, sharp corners, things like that. Think of a leaf or uh, just things you find in nature typically don't have hard edges. So if I were to do some sort of a blob shape, that's an example of an organic shape. But let's start with a circle. Draw a circle. The top left, like that. Then let's do that blob shape, some sort of random shape right there. Let's do a, hmm, a letter K, but more loose, kind of graffiti style. K. And then a letter D, we'll do a nice straight edge, curved edge, then the inside there. Let's put our vanishing point in the middle. Now your vanishing point could go anywhere. Imagine if it were down here, all those letters would look like they're receding to the point down here. We're just going to put it in the middle for ease. Okay, if this circle were a square, you'd know to draw from the corners of each part of the square towards the vanishing point, but it's a circle. It has no corners. So what do you do? Well, line your ruler up with the vanishing point and then swing it up. And as soon as it touches that circle, that's where you stop. That's where you're going to draw your line to the vanishing point. Then we'll do the same thing on the top. Line it up with the vanishing point, swing it down. As soon as it touches the circle, that's where you stop. Draw a line. Okay, remember that rule, the back is the same as the front with what we're doing. So the back of this, if we're gonna cut this off from the vanishing point, make it into just a cylinder, the back is the same as the front. Now typically you'd wanna just do a, a curve like that. It's kind of a shortcut. You'd just be like, okay, that's curved, I'm gonna draw a curve. Don't do that, bad. You want to actually draw a circle. And I'm going to draw a circle that overlaps this circle just for an added effect. So by drawing that whole circle, that curve is correct by default. I'm going to erase what's on the outside of this. And because I did some overlapping, it makes it cool. It makes it look like a straw or something you could crawl through. I'm going to erase this. All right, let's do this blob thing. Same as the circle. Because there's no corners, I'm just going to swing this down as soon as it touches that outer edge. I'm going to draw a line. Over here, same thing. Now I've got to look at this edge here. I'm going to line my ruler up with it and the vanishing point. And there's that little spot right there where I would be able to see that edge of the blob. Now the back is the same as the front, so I could draw that whole shape. I'm going to do my best just to mimic those curves right there. I got myself a blob. The back is the same as the front. Now I feel a little hypocritical because I told you to draw the whole circle. Let's just go ahead, draw the whole blob. I think I got scared because I don't feel like I can draw it exactly the same. All right, drew it. Looks good. Let me erase it. Let's move on to these letters. I'm going to find all the corners. Draw from each corner to the vanishing point, unless the line will go over the letter. Now, this line will not go over the letter until I hit it right there. So I'm going to draw it. If I were to draw this line, it would just go right on top of the letter, so I'm not going to. Wouldn't see that edge. I'm going to double check that. Oh, slightly. That corner, I would draw over the letter, so I'm not going to draw it. This corner, I will see. Draw it to the vanishing point. This one to the vanishing point. This one to the vanishing point. Now I have to decide how thick do I want this K to be. I'll make it about this thick. 
I've got to do the back just like the front. The front of this side is curved like this. So the back's going to be curved. The front is a line that goes about like this. This direction, I put my ruler on here so it's parallel to that front. I'm going to draw the back side of it. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky, but not too tricky. Got to think here. Okay, where this corner happens. I've got the front corner and the back corner is right there. I've got to lightly sketch my K in the back side of it. Then I'm going to lightly draw a line from this corner to there, knowing I'm going to erase these lines, but these are going to help me to do the back side of this line. So from this corner, that's where I'm going to draw this line right here. Now I can erase those, and that's the correct thickness. I can erase the rest of these. Okay, this D should be pretty easy. That line is kind of bothering me. I'm going to take my ruler and straighten it up. From the corners, draw to the vanishing point. I'm going to put my ruler on the vanishing point, swing it down where it touches the curve of the D. I draw a line. There's no corners and no outer edges here, so there will be no lines from this part of the D. I'm going to make it about this thick, just for fun, pretty thin. I'm going to draw that line like I'm drawing the D. Now I will be able to see part of this D right here. So let's see. Let's draw the whole D. Draw some lines to the vanishing point, knowing I'm going to erase these. I'm going to draw this about the same thickness as this part right here, and then draw another curve just like this. And by doing that, I get the correct thickness and the correct placement of this inner part of the D. I can erase the rest. All right. Do your best to complete these, this little exercise, take a picture of it, submit it on Canvas for grading, have fun. Now that you've learned some new things in perspective, you could write your name, you could do lots, so many different things with perspective and have a lot of fun with it.